Gukesh, congratulations. You just beat Max Farmada. It was a crazy day in the tournament. A lot happened and suddenly you are the joint leader tonight. Um, before we talk about the game, tell me about your emotions after this win and joining the lead. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with the game. I mean, he, he was very well prepared. I had no idea about the line and I had to grind out this end game. He, he made a few inaccuracies, but okay. Uh, always very nice to win a very long game. Before we um, before we talk about uh, before we talk about the end game, let's talk about the early stages. You already mentioned that he was very well prepared, and um, he built up a big time advantage. And then you guys were repeating a couple of times, and eventually you decided to play on with Rook D1. Mm -hmm. What went through your mind at that moment? Were you tempted to maybe repeat? Uh, not at all. Like, yeah, he surprised me with this bishop B4, and I guess he. He did equalize, but the repetition was, uh, was mainly because I, like, I mean, I was so, like, more than one mm -hmm. hour behind on the clock, so I just wanted to make the time control safely. Uh, the repetition was only about that. I mean, there was no need to take a draw mm -hmm. because, um, well, he was, uh, I mean, the position had no risk for white. So yeah. yeah, but after that, he, I guess he missed this. Uh, like knight f7 mm -hmm. take on this uh, in the end game he missed that I have rook b2 in there. Another knight capture again. <laughs> yeah. And he missed, sorry, you said? Uh, he missed that in the rook end mm -hmm. game after when we got the rook end game, rook c2, rook b2 is yeah. there. So, yeah, after that, I, I think the rook end game should also be a draw, but okay, already it was not ideal for mm -hmm. him. And I, I couldn't see the clear way to draw actually. I yeah, I'm curious what... I think the engine gave king f6 for him instead of rook g1. Uh, but he had already played so many. I mean, a5 that he had oh, played engine. earlier. Yeah. So, yeah, the engine, I think, was giving king f6 instead of rook g1 as the only way to hold. Yeah, king f6, I was also thinking it was the only move. But king f6, I was thinking rook a8, king g5, rook g8, king h4, e5. And it's not very sure, but okay, it should be a draw. Did you feel in the game after uh, he played rook g1 and you sort of you were going to collect the second pawn at that, that, that point that it was over? Yeah, rook g1 was clearly a loss of concentration for him because I knew that e and g is winning. Mm. But also, like even the e and g, I think there is some some kind of difference where white needs, white needs to be quite precise. But yeah, he allowed me this uh, rank cutoff mm. and after that it was... And tomorrow you're going to play against a uh, women's world champion, uh, Ju Van Jun. Have you played her before in a classical game? Or in any time controls? I don't, I don't think so. Um, yeah, I don't think I have played her. But uh, yeah, she's a great player and it'll be a very interesting game for sure. Do you... Um, I'm curious about your opinion. A lot of people have said they think she's quite underrated. She is the lowest seed here. Do you have that same feeling, uh, or what are you, your op your opinion on her as a player? Um, yeah, she is. Uh, I mean, I haven't um, haven't played against her, so I don't know uh, exactly. But yeah, her results clearly mm -hmm. show it. I mean, she's on fifty percent, okay, so and in this field, fifty yeah. percent is not at all easy. So, and also I remember in Sharjah she played really mm -hmm. well, and here she beat Ali Reza. Mm -hmm. She's uh, surely a very strong player. Yeah. And uh, final question, uh, as you said, you probably haven't uh, played her. Is it interesting for you to play new opponents? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's also a bit challenging because mm -hmm. you don't know what mm -hmm. they play like and what their styles are, but, but yeah, it's a challenge I look forward to. Great, well, we look forward to the game as well. Gukesh, once again, congratulations and good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.